Hey friends, welcome or welcome back. I'm so excited you decided to join me today because I cannot wait to show you the Valentine's Day and spring finds that I picked up from Dollar Tree. So if that's something you're interested in, then just keep watching. Okay friends, so as always, I don't have much time to do this, so I'm gonna do my best not to edit. So I'm just gonna jump right in. Thank you guys again so much for joining me, but y'all, now I never found the circle wreaths like everybody else did um but when I saw these online people hauling these um I had to hurry up and run and get them because a dollar 25 for a nice heart beaded wreath like totally worth it in my opinion so I picked up two of those the next item that I picked up this was like the first thing that I saw Look how gorgeous that is. Little candy jar. Um, you could do a little DIY with this. I have a few ideas in mind, so I'll keep that to myself for now, but it is really nice quality in my opinion. So even if you did not like the lid, you could still use the jar, and I think the jar is super gorgeous as well. So I picked up one of those, and the pink was the only color that I saw. So if you guys have seen any other colors, let me know down in the comments. Okay, so now we're gonna start with the signs, y'all. You know, Dollar Tree be doing it big with the signs. They're getting better and better as they are following the DIYers and the crafters and the people who haul the stuff. Like, they definitely pay attention and they're getting better and better. So check these out. Like, that's super cute as is. I don't know about y'all, but I love this sign. Look at the beaded hanger. Hell yeah, Dollar Tree. Bring it on. Now, this is, like, raised. And the glitter is the kind of glitter that doesn't, like, fall all over the place, which I definitely appreciate. So, I picked up one of those. And then, along the lines of... Hold on. Oh, there it is. I was like, I know I picked up another one with uh, a beaded hanger. Okay, so the next one I picked up along the same lines, just a different design. Look how cute that is. If anybody that knows me knows that I love cheetah print. I love cheetah print. So I picked up one of those. And then the next sign that I picked up, this was not in the Valentine section. This was actually like in the back on an end cap. And there were several different patterns. Um, but the only one that I picked up was this one, Live, Love, Laugh. Because I figured that I could unscrew this wording. Um, it's just held in by two little screws. So I figured that I could just take off that wording, paint it, do something different with that um wording I don't know but I kind of like that faux wood background I don't know y'all let me know would y'all leave this as is or would you uh DIY it so now these are old news like these have been around forever are the unfinished wood hearts so I just picked up two of those because I didn't have any in my stash and then the next sign that I picked up was this, look how big this is. So y'all know that Dollar Tree has done the jar signs before, but they've always been much, much smaller. These are a substantial size. Like, look how big that is. So I thought that was pretty impressive. Um, I, do, I mean, I guess the pattern is okay. My little buddy. Let me go grab him. Oi. Say hi, friends. This is my buddy, baby. I realized that I have not, like, formally introduced him to the channel. So, this is JJ. Say hi, friends. <laughs> he's a breastfed baby, so... Uh, he's a very needy, which I'm not complaining about, because he's my last baby, and... So, I wanted to give it my best go with him, um, and here we are. 
but I literally would not change a thing, y'all. He's really a good baby. For a breastfed baby, he really is a really good baby. Um, and the reason why I really haven't introduced him to the channel yet is just because, like, when you know better, you do better. So with my girls, I didn't realize, like, how scary the internet was. Um, so I just... I just don't like my kids on the internet very much just because people are very weird um, and I have beautiful children so anyway there's that so the next item that I picked up come on buddy babe you hungry I'll be right back y'all well he's right here eating so mama gotta do what mama's gotta do you get what I'm saying <laughs> My life is complete chaos these days, and I'm telling you, there ain't no way that I, that I can do what I do without my ketones. I truly, truly believe. Well, I don't believe that. I know that for a fact. Healthy Red Bull burns your fat for fuel without diet and exercise. Y'all want any ketone information, text my number. I'll leave it in the pinned comment and in the description box. Um, and I also turned it into a business making money from my phone. So if y'all want business info type biz, text my number B-I-Z and I got you. So the next sign that I picked up was this gorgeous sign. And these, I remember these from last year, but they did not have that big, beautiful silk bow on it. I don't know. Let, let me know. I don't think they had the bow like that last year, but... I could be wrong, but I picked that one up because I love round signs, and I figured that it could be like a double-sided sign or something. I don't know, but I picked up one of those. It's got that ugly glitter on it. I hate that glitter, but just got to deal with what you got to deal with with Dollar Tree, right? So, the next sign that I picked up, which is my absolute favorite... <laughs> <laughs> is this one look at that freaking sign are you kidding me look at the galvanized metal hearts the truck like everything about it the background come on dollar tree give us more stuff like this love it okay picked up one of those sorry this is not easy y'all this is not easy if you're enjoying this haul and want to see what I DIY with these items, don't forget to share and subscribe. Mom life. Come on, buddy, babe. Huh. Look at that fat chunk of milk. <gasps> what? You love your mommy. Yeah. I love you. What? You love mommy. You do. What? What? <laughs> what? Okay, so the next two things that I picked up, I have seen several people hauling these, but I did not find them till the other day. So this is the natural wood looking one. And then they also had a black one at my store. These little arches, and you could clip a picture to it. It also has the um, little stand in the back. So if you wanted to like sit these on a shelf or something like that, you could totally do that. So I picked up one of each of those. Is that right, bud? Tell mama. So the next items that I picked up are these little cute houses. You all right? Cute little houses. Again, they have the little stands in the back. That way, if you want to sit them on a shelf or whatever, you can. But I thought those would be really cute for, like, chalk couture. So I picked up two of them. And then that is it for the signs. The next item I picked up, I've been on the hunt for this, is the little tree. Kind of, well, not kind of. It's just like the green trees at Christmas time. 
but these are pink for Valentine's. So I guess they're probably going to do this for every season now. Um, that's kind of how Dollar Tree rolls. If they see that something is like pretty popular, then they start doing it for all the seasons. So I'm not going to pull it all the way out. If I do have time to like set it up and show y'all a picture, I will. Um, but it's exactly like the small trees at Dollar Tree, just this pink, shiny, iridescent. And I'm like really impressed because I thought it was just pink, y'all. I didn't realize that it had like little iridescent pieces, but I think that really makes it pop and I love that. So I'll probably pick up a few more of these, but I just wanted to pick up one for now to make sure it was something that I would like use or whatever because y'all the amount of Dollar Tree shit that I have is like absolutely insane so I picked up one of those okay so the next thing that I picked up are new Valentine's Day ribbons I'm super impressed so these were all of the patterns that I picked up I love this little like heart pattern XOX this one says I picked you and it's like that burlap color and then this one's just the plain heart burlap I only picked up one of each of these they did have some other patterns so if I remember I'll pop it up on the screen for you but these were the ones that I personally picked and then they did have bigger ribbons, but the only one that I picked up was this little truck with the hearts that says, you're my person. See, I'm not very good with all my glasses. I can't really see too good, but I can't stand the glare at my glasses with the light. So anyway, picked up one of those. The next Valentine's Day item I picked up were these little gnome picks. I don't really know what you would do with these. I guess stick them in a vase or something. I don't really know. I just picked them up because I thought they were super duper cute. Um, but I don't really know what to do with them. So let me know in the comments. What, what would you guys do with these gnome picks? All right, y'all. I'm trying to stay along the lines of Valentine's Day because I do have spring items, but I'm trying to do them like all at once. Okay, the next Valentine's Day item that I picked up is just this foam heart. I believe they had these last year. I'm pretty positive they did. So I only picked up one of those. Oh shoot, y'all. I forgot that ribbon. It's like red with sparkly and white hearts. Okay, y'all, this is what I went to Dollar Tree for. I saw these online and I was like, I have to freaking have them. And I don't really know if they have any other like styles, but <gasps> I found the kissing booths, y'all. I found the kissing booths. So I picked up one of each. Aren't they so stinking cute? I should have picked up more, but I'll go back and get some more because I feel like you could um, change, like, paint them and do something different for, like, I don't know, fruit stand, flower stand, whatever. Um, Y'all remember the, the, like, fruit stand, the pumpkin stand that I made um, with the galvanized awning that, never mind, I'm not going to go there, but... Anyway, people like to steal ideas and not give credit. But whatever. That's neither here nor there. Um, but anyway, y'all remember those, right? Th this is what kind of reminded me. These reminded me of that. So, I feel like you could paint them and do, like, different colors and something else. So, I might go pick up some more. But for now, I picked up one of each. And then these are not new. These are from last year. Y'all have seen these, I'm sure. But the little barns, they do have all the colors out that they had last year. So I only picked up one for now because I do have several out in the shed. But I do not have any more of the white ones with the natural roof. So I picked up one of those. And then I also picked up four bags of table scatter. 
which these are so cute. They have, I don't know if you can see that, but they have little lips, hearts, and then diamonds. So like I said, I picked up four bags because I'm a, I have an idea for these. And I also picked up three unfinished wood hearts. These are also not new. They did have these last year, but I did need more. Valentine's Day crafts don't, like, you could probably get, like, a few videos because it just comes and goes so quickly. So, I don't like to get a whole, whole bunch of stuff for Valentine's Day because not everybody even decorates for Valentine's Day. Let me know down in the comments. Do y'all decorate or do you just skip right over and go to, like, St. Patty's Day or, you know, Easter or Spring? I'm curious to know. So, the next items I picked up look how stinging cute y'all look how stinging cute i'm sorry but i don't even really like gnomes like that to be quite honest i never really have been into them but these were just way too cute i just could not i could not pass them up because they're perfect for like tiered trays they did have four different little guys so i picked up one of each this little gray guy, this little guy holding an envelope, this guy holding a heart, and last but not least, this little guy who's just full of love. Aren't they so cute? Let me know which gnome is your favorite. I think... I think this one is my favorite because I love pink. I don't know. It's a mix up between these two. I think that actually this one is because look at his little hat. Buffalo check. Got the little hearts. I love him. Are you talking, bud? Tell us what you're thinking. Okay. And then these were Christmas, but they were 50% off. So, I was like, you know what? You can use them for anything. Or throw them in your stash for next year. But at 50% off, you can't beat it. So, I picked up two red berry garlands. And I picked up one gold. Again, I figured you, I could use them for Valentine's Day crafts. And if not, oh well. Okay, now we're going to move on to the spring items that I found they did not have everything out for spring yet, but I picked up what I found. If there is something that I did not pick up, I will uh, pop it up on the screen. So I picked up one of these little bird houses. Now, I don't really like that pattern, but the back is plain. So I figured I could DIY that. And they did have a bunch of like different patterns and they are really nice size too. They're not like those little teeny, teeny ones. So I thought for $1.25, that was a good deal. So I picked up one of those. And then the next spring items that I picked up are these little flower pots. <gasps> are you kidding me? I love that because I always make a lot of, like, for little... I just love little stuff, so... I love that they're coming out with things that they know that we use. So I picked up two packs of those. I probably should have picked up more. And then they also have these. I picked up two packs of those. The little fences with the flowers. Aren't they so singing cute? And they have 3D little bumblebees. They also had ladybugs, but I'm not a fan of either, really. But the bumblebees, I figured maybe I could use. But I knew I definitely wouldn't use the ladybugs. So I picked up one of those. Oh, I did pick up three packs of these, actually. Yeah, I picked up three packs of these. Thank God. 
The next item that I picked up, because y'all know that I, or I should say if you've been around for any length of time, then y'all know that I make um, little vases out of like craft sticks. So these are little craft shapes, spring craft shapes. Um, you've got wheelbarrows, you've got watering cans, you've got um, little containers. So definitely picked up two packs of those. I thought they were so cute. They have little um, pots with flowers. I don't know if you can see that. See the little flower, little flower pot. Aren't they cute? Oh, y'all. Dollar Tree. I'm telling you, they're doing it big. So, they now have these little garden stakes. Garden pick. That's so stinging cute. So, that's a little galvanized metal birdhouse. And then this one is a little watering can. Okay, Dollar Tree. You impress me more and more every season. So I only picked up one of each. And then, y'all, last but not least, it's not a spring or Valentine's Day item. But I've seen other people haul these. I just have never seen them. I finally found the beaded garlands. Now, I don't really like the, um, the rainbow at the end. But if you like that sort of thing, then look how cute. And these tassels are a bit obnoxious. <laughs> so I would probably cut that down or something. But, um, you know, if you don't want to string a garland or, you know, paint the beads or whatever, I feel like for $1.25, that's an excellent deal. So I just picked up one of each of those. And that was it for this haul, you guys. Thank you so, so much for hanging out with me today. Let me know, let me know down in the comments which item was your favorite. Um, my favorite item is my son back there. <laughs> no, just kidding. My favorite item is that truck sign and the little gnomes. Uh, well, I'm not just kidding. He is my favorite item, but you get what I'm saying. My favorite Dollar Tree item is the little mini uh, gnome, little, yeah, the little mini ohms. <laughs> the little mini gnomes and the truck sign are my favorite from this haul. So I'm curious to know which is your favorite. Again, thank you for hanging with me. As always, if you guys need any chalk couture info, how you can get everything 40% off of my site, or if you need some weight loss info, or how you can start a business from your phone, drinking ketones and feeling amazing, text my number, the word chalk or biz or ketones and i'll get y'all all that info if nobody has told you today you're absolutely stunning you're worthy you're gorgeous you can literally do anything you set your mind to if i can do it a recovering heroin addict of eight years i know that you can do it as well with that being said don't forget to check out the videos while you are heading out at the end and i'll talk to y'all in the next one Bye. Check out the videos that are popping up here to your left while you're waiting on my next upload or join the DIY fam here to your right.